So hi, we are today in Atos headquarters next to three outstanding machines. They are the perfect illustration of Atos know-how and we are today with Pierre. Hi Pierre. Hi Claire, how are you? Good, and you? Fine. So uh, could you tell us more about these machines, what they do, what they brought to society in their day and today? Yeah, it's, uh, it's very interesting to start with this machine that is a tabulator that has been invented by uh, Frederick Bull uh, in 1923. Then it's a tabulator that, is, that was able to, uh, to compute 100 punch cards, uh, you can see there, uh, per, per hour. Then 1.5 cards per minute. Then it was a very competitive machine because the most performing were in the US in the past. And this one was the first European, was really a state of the art in 1923. Uh, what is the most interesting and impressive is the jump into the time by 95 years, roughly, moving to these supercomputers, that is the Bull Sequana X1000. It's a double sales machine that is able to compute two million of billion of operations per second. Then it's uh, also said in two petaflops. Then this machine, okay, so it's a big baby yeah, of uh, five tons, is able to compute huge amount of data compared to, of course, the first machine. But let's jump, make a leapfrog into the future again, but not by 95 years this time, but only perhaps 10 to 20 years. But in the meantime, we are front runner as Atos because the hardware for computing, quantum computing, are not ready. But we have already invented a software, a language that is giving the opportunity to research center companies to emulate and simulate quantum computing. And it helps a lot to understand what will be the next frontiers we're going we're gonna to break with this new technology. That's impressive. So if you had one key fact or an anecdote to share about this machine, what would you say? It's perhaps linked to the time uh, and uh, to understand what we are talking about in terms of uh, enormous uh, leapfrog and enormous jump we have made from a technological point of view across these machines. And as I said, there are 90, 95 years between the invasion, invention of these machines and uh, this one, okay, that is our two-day supercomputers. Uh, one bit per second here with a tabulator from Frederick Bull and 128 million of billion of bit per second computed. I let you translate, it's just enormous. And it's really even difficult from human beings to, to imagine what we are talking about. But with these machines, we can simulate the weather, we can simulate crash tests, we can do a lot of things. We can, of course, more and more provide data analytics. Then, in 20 years, this time, these bits per second, whatever it's billion, million, will be done in a, in a snapshot. In less than one second, something done in one or two minutes with the supercomputers will be done by the quantum computing. Then we are entering into a new era, a new frontier, and it will give us a lot of hopes in terms of simulation, but more than that, huh, I'm bringing to human beings a lot of advantages. Yeah, and, and finally, according to you, what will be the next innovation? Well, the next innovation will be uh, for us as human beings, because we are surrounded by machines, Claire, it's quite impressive, huh? and you see the leapfrogs, and I believe that the machines will do a lot of things we are doing still right now. And we'll have to think about us, we'll have to uh, extend our lifetime, we'll have to, um, to work on our diseases, we'll have to defeat some, uh, some problems, we'll have to treat also our climate, perhaps to protect ourselves from what we are doing badly, uh, and these machines will help us to think about us, how we can extend our life, what will be the, the also our next frontiers, perhaps less to think about our brain, but, but more with our soul and our, and our heart. And I believe these machines will help us to reach these next frontiers. Then the, for me, the next innovation will be human being. Many thanks, Pierre. Thank you. Thank you, Claire. Thank you very much.